Stella, as a matter of fact, did you know things that could predispose you to cervical cancer? Now, let me tell you, cervical cancer is caused by an infectious agent called HPV, human papilloma virus. And it is of two types. We have 16 and 18. So, first of all, if you have sexual intercourse at a very early age, especially the first sexual intercourse at an early stage, chances are high that you'll have this infectious agent. Secondly, early marriage. Thirdly, multiple birth. Another is change of sexual partner at a high pre frequency. Today you're with Jim, the next day you're with Peter, the other day you're with Isaac, the other day you're with uh, Masulita, etc. Then, male partner with multiple sexual female partners. If your man is having multiple sexual partners or is having unprotected sex, haphazardly, chances of getting this HPV is really increased in this case. So, family history. In case you have a family history of cervical cancer, chances of it recurring in you are high. Smoking. As you know, smoking is almost everywhere. Low immunity. Disease conditions like in HIV where the immunity is low, it means this infection, the HPV, will have chance to progress into cancer. Thirdly, ages between 30 and 39, 60 and 69. Then race. Cervical cancer is more common in a black race as compared to the other races. Thirdly, lack of screening. If you don't screen, Remember, you could have HPV, but because you are not screening, it progresses to cervical cancer. But when you screen, it can get treated. Okay? So, now, what are the signs, Mr. Madam Stella? What are the signs that you can look at and you suspect? You'll be like, hmm, this could be cervical cancer. Number one, let's talk about bleeding. By the way, Postcoital bleeding, bleeding after sex. Secondly, postmenopausal bleeding. As we know, in menopause, we don't expect any bleeding from the vagina. Let it be periods, it is still, we don't expect that. But when you see this after menopause, please run to the healthcare provider. Thirdly, irregular menstrual periods. Another is intermenstrual periods. You finish your periods, but between periods, you're bleeding. Put a question mark. Another is discharge, especially a prolonged discharge, pass like discharge. And usually it is sustained. When you see this that has been there for long, please go and screen for cervical cancer. Mitration symptoms, symptoms of UTIs. Get increased frequency, painful, painful urination, incontinence. Please, if especially if they are consistent and constant, please, year after year, you're with these symptoms, go and, and screen for cervical cancer. Pain, back pain. Sometimes it is a pain during sex, or it could be also pelvic pain. Please suspect this could be cervical cancer and uh, usually lesions you could feel a lesions especially when you try to examine or sometimes use your finger you could feel a lesion at the cervix if you feel any lesion please go and screen for cervical cancer digital exam this is done by health professional you feel a firm but um yes a firm lump but with nodules so for that reason, go to your healthcare provider. Treatment, of course, involves different modalities, surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. But usually, radiotherapy applies to all stages, but the surgery is the gold standard most of the times. Okay. Thank you so much for being on this platform. Make sure you follow, like, and share so that the information can move. You know, 